Hi, welcome to Rhonda Said. I'm Rhonda. I love saying things and I'm so super glad to be here. And today there's going to be extra noise in the background because I have a little baby kitten named Ruby. Ruby! Ruby! She doesn't know her name yet, but she'll get over here eventually and I'll put her on camera as soon as I am able. She is having a good time playing with a little plastic butterfly right now. And I'm not going to interrupt her having fun because kittens need to be entertained 24-7. Except the fucking couple hours of nap they have. <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing a look with the mini pro palette from Beauty Creations. Oh, Louie's still, he's still the king. There might be a new little girl, but Louie's the king. Hey, Louie. How you doing, buddy? You're a good boy. He's been pretty good, brother. We've only had the cat for like two days. Um, so if you're seeing this in the future, it's a really exciting time to be in my house. Wolfie is losing his freaking furry mind and just sounds like some kind of demon cat. And Jessie is kind of playing with her, but kind of rough. And Louie just watches. He just likes to watch her, which is fine. So today, we're going to do a look at the Mini Pro Palette from Beauty Creations. Let's show you what it looks like. I've swatched a couple of the, pic the colors and it is gorgeous and it's in a color story that I L-O-V-E. I love this kind of color story. So we'll see what I can make. I might have to borrow from another palette to totally get the look that I want, but that's okay. I'm doing new stuff today in this video. I've got a fancy primer, which is the Tatcha, the silk, liquid silk canvas. So we're going to start with that today. Had a little windfall, so I treated myself to some fancy things. And this is one of them. And my, my one of my favorite channels, Teresa's Dead Swears by this primer. And all the noises you hear is one entertaining kitten. I cannot control her. She's too young to know her name, but she's precious. And you guys have seen pictures of her on my Instagram and on my um, community tab. Why was that so hard to think of? I don't know. But I've got this primer on and it feels very moisturizing my skin does feel like silk and then on top of that I'm gonna put my cheap ass <laughs> my cheap ass pro concealer and eye primer for the pretty fresh from Colourpop but I like it I love this and I love using it for my eye primer and we're trying a new foundation what? Yes, it's the Pretty Fa Fresh Foundation from ColourPop, and it is hydrolonic just like, it's got hydrolonic acid just like the um, concealer does, and this is in 20N, and my concealer is in the shade, let me see, Fair 20C, so it's the same color basically. I did a swatch to see if it matched earlier and we'll see how much how far this goes. And this is supposed to be like a nice medium coverage foundation that is buildable. It feels great. Feels really good. It goes on easy. It's covering everything that I want it to cover. Actually, I need a little bit more on this left side.
but it didn't take very much foundation to give me the coverage that I liked. And there we go. Time for powder and we're using the Hydra Mist from Becca. What are you guys up to? We had to change uh, the kitten's name from Lucy to Ruby because Lucy is too close to Louie. And I was going Lulu and then he goes by Lulu sometimes. So we couldn't have them both trying to answer the same name. And Ruby was on the list. And I want to thank everybody in the live stream that helped me come up with a name for this cat. And I've got a new, another new thing. It is the I Heart Revolution Pineapple Setting Spray. And it's got, it doesn't smell exactly like pineapples, but it doesn't not smell like pineapples, if that makes any sense. It's all right. Um, I've just sprayed it on my face as a refresher. I haven't really um, gone above and beyond with it so far. So let's get down to the rest of the face. So we're trying lots of new stuff today. New palette, new foundation, new primer, new setting spray. New, 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 boop, 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 boop. And I'm going to use, uh, I'm going all over the way, all over the world price-wise in this uh, highlight and contour palette from uh, Profusion. I'm going to use that for my bronzer. And I really enjoy this bronzer. It's very nice. It's nice and mellow. And it's not orange, which is important. Go under the chin. What was that? Why? Look who I have! It's the little girl. It's Ruby. She was under my chair. Look. Ruby, this is your first video. You just want to play. Look at her. She's so sweet and playful. She says, I want down, mama. But this is, that's her first video. Are you excited to have seen her first in video? Jesse, you're gonna crush that box. Jesse's a big old kitty. He's the youngest, but he's the biggest. And I'm gonna blend this out a little bit more. That looks better. And then for highlight, I don't know what I'm gonna use for highlight. I'm gonna use my NARS for the blush and I'll do my highlight last. And I'm gonna go into this last color that's a little dark. Just a little bit of color. Just a little warmth. Oh, there is a highlighter in here. I'll just use this highlighter. And this is the Star Scene palette. And look at that. It's all starry. From NARS. This highlighter isn't the best. But it gives a little bit of a glow. We don't want to be glowing for the gods. We're just glowing for the kittens today. It's a real sweet, fresh face. If I do say so myself, and I do. <laughs> Let's swatch this palette, the Mini Pro Palette from Beauty Creations. And it looks like there are 12 colors in here. The first one is a white that's not swatching very good. So, let me 
see where that white is right there. I'm having a little eczema breakout on my arm. Please excuse me. I can't control it. Let me just clean up that line. Looks a little better when I do that. Then the next step is this line. And I've been really loving my beauty creation palettes that I've been playing with lately. There's really good pigment and it's very inexpensive. I think this palette was like $12.99. that last one and it is beauteous and it's one of my favorite color stories I just really wanted to see how bolder colors would be this is their mini pro palette volume four so there's three other pro palettes before this one I'm gonna get my little favorite crease brush which is my alter ego little shader brush here. I think I'm going to start with, it's called Naturally Blonde, but it's like a pink. Oh, it's like a purpley pink, like a light fuchsia. And it's very pigmented. It's going on real easy. Just super nice. We love that. And then my Luxie shader brush. I love shader brushes. I can't, can't deny it. I am gonna have to grab another palette for under my brow because this is like that white just won't be. I don't like white, just plain white. I don't like it. It's called white lies, and I don't care for it a bit. So I'm going to go into the corner with Miss Bossy, which is kind of a magenta, not magenta, what is the color I want to call it? That's not go. it's super shimmery. Is it magenta? Well, it's not going on great with the brush. So I'll just even put it on the other side just as much as I put on that side. I think it's because it's a shimmer going on top of a shimmer. So let me try going into spoiled, no, tap out this, this uh, matte color. Woo! That's a party. like a beach party like a beach party bingo that is hella pigmented and blends out really easily this is my little color switcher my color switcher, which I refill with, uh, I just cut circles out of the foam from my Boxy Charm box, and it works really good. Um, a little under my eye. I'm going to put, I'm going to try to put Miss Bossy on my lid. See if it brush will work or if I have to use my. What's oh, going on? It's not going on on top of another shimmer so it's going on fine and don't worry i'm going to add some purple to get some of this pink under control I think I'm going to use this color Darling, kind of a plum color. I 
You're gonna carry it through the crease and on the outer corner. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to grab for another palette for my brow bone. Let's blend this out some. It softens up really nicely. It's bright, but it's pretty and it is under control. Let's see. I wonder if there's anything in my, it's my pleasure. Yeah, there's a real pretty light iridescent I can use for this brow area. And this is called Earthshine. It'll go really pretty with what we have here. And that just matches up perfectly with everything else. Because sometimes you, one palette is not enough. Sometimes we have to get help from other palettes. Just like in life, sometimes we have to get help from other people. We're gonna use my Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner. Ooh, it's doing that the wrong way. Pull my mirror the opposite way that I needed it. Super cute. So bright and cheerful. Woo! <laughs> I'm glad I took it easy on the cheeks. And then I'm going to take this beautiful color, which is called 120 Artist. And it is a darker kind of magenta. Was that Ruby? I'm really surprised I got her on camera. Hmm. There we go. Just a bright, colorful summer look. Oh, my brows could be touched, couldn't they? And this is a Chella or Delilah brow pencil in taupe. She makes great noises. I'm glad you guys are used to cat noises in videos. She is just having a great time. She was the most energetic kitty in the whole batch of kitties. That we went and saw. We went to a uh, cat cafe, and she was the bossiest, most uh, outgoing kitty that was there. And we just had to have her, and now we do. And let's do some setting spray again with the I Heart Revolution pineapple. And it's super cute and pretty. Thanks so much for being with me here today. I hope you have a great day or day of your choice, and I'll see you real soon.